Today I'm going to go over all of the legendary armor sets that we know of in Outriders and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome back to another video. Warning, this video contains spoilers that are not shown in the Outriders demo. So, if you don't want spoilers, please leave this video now. You have 5 seconds. You have been warned. Before we get into the video, I just want to let everybody know that we currently have a giveaway for three full digital versions of Outriders, and details for the giveaway will be towards the end of the video. As of this video, Outriders has several legendary armor sets in the full game. Each complete set is five pieces of armor. For this video, I'll be going over all of the sets that we know in alphabetical order of the specific set, the type of armor it is, as well as go over the tier 3 mod that comes with the armor. Now, I'm only going over the tier 3 mod because the tier 1 or tier 2 mods can come on any armor for your specific class. This video will have most of the legendary armor sets and two of the sets are actually not complete with picks. Also, there are legendary pieces of armor in Outriders that do not have a set and are a standalone piece of armor. These legendary armor pieces do not have a set bonus. For those who don't know, a set bonus is when you have three pieces of armor of the same set. All of the armor will be shown on screen, so feel free to pause the video to get a better look at all of the armor. Real quick, these are not all of the legendary armor pieces in the game. There are still a lot more that we do not have pictures of, so just keep that in mind. And I will put timestamps for each set of armor as well as which class is for in the description box below. So, let's go ahead and get started with the first legendary armor set, which is the Akari set, and we will end with the Yugaki set, but also I will give you guys an extra legendary too that is not part of a set. So, the Akari set is for the Pyromancer, and I will be going over the three-piece bonus for every set at the beginning of the set. And the three-piece bonus for the Akari set is called Akari, which... Every enemy damaged by Heat Wave grants 25% anomaly power bonus for 10 seconds. First piece of armor is called the Armor of the Akari. This is Legendary Upper Armor. Tier 3 mod on this is Detonator, which is for your overheat. This decreases the skill's cooldown by 50%. Next we have the Boots of the Akari. This is Legendary Foot Gear. Tier 3 mod on this is Master Consumer which also is for your overheat, and the skill consumes either fire or ash status to deal damage. Consuming both at once increases the damage by 150%. Then we have the Gauntlets of the Akari. These are legendary gloves. Tier 3 mod on this is called Strength from Fire. This has to do with Heat Wave. And using the skill grants 10 seconds, 15% weapon damage bonus for each affected enemy. Then we have the Helmet of the Akari which is Legendary Headgear. Tier 3 mod on this is called Fire Tsunami. This also has to do with Heat Wave, which it increases the width of the firewall. And last but not least, we have the Waste Cloth of the Akari. This is Legendary Lower Armor. Tier 3 mod on this is called Anomaly Echo, which grants X amount firepower and X amount Anomaly Power bonus on skill activation for 15 seconds. Next that we'll be going over is for the Technomancer. It is the Borealis Monarch. And as for the three-piece bonus, you get increased weapon damage on frozen enemies by 80%. Also, crit damage is increased for all party members by 10% for 8 seconds after using the Cold Snap ability. First piece of armor is the Boots of the Borealis Monarch. This is Legendary Foot Gear. Tier 3 mod on this is called Sharp Eye, which killing enemies while aiming down sights grants you X amount of firepower for 20 seconds, and this stacks up to 3 times. Then we have Crown of the Borealis Monarch. This is Legendary Headgear. Tier 3 mod on this is called Twins, and this applies to your Cryo Turret, which two turrets can be placed before triggering the cooldown. Then we have Gloves of the Borealis Monarch. These are Legendary Gloves. Tier 3 mod on this is Captain Hunter, which increases your damage against Elites by 20%. Then we have Robe of the Borealis Monarch. This is Legendary Upper Armor. Tier 3 mod on this is called Icicle Storm, and this applies to your Cold Snap, which killing enemies frozen by the skill makes them explode dealing X amount of damage in 5 meter radius. And then last but not least, we have the Waste Cloth of the Borealis Monarch. 
This is Legendary Lower Armor. Tier 3 mod on this is called Cryo Down, which also applies to your Cryo Turret. This decreases the skill's cooldown by 50%. Next set is for the Trickster, and it is the Cannonball set. And the 3-piece bonus on this is killing an enemy with melee skill replenishes ammunition in your current magazine. First piece of gear is called Foot Gear of the Cannonball. This is Legendary Foot Gear. Tier 3 mod on this is called Martial Arts, which reduces the cooldown of your melee skill by 50%. Then we have Gauntlets of the Cannonball. This is Legendary Gloves. Tier 3 mod on this is called Captain Hunter, which increases your damage against elites by 20%. Then we have Leg Armor of the Cannonball. This is Legendary Lower Armor. Tier 3 mod on this is called Brawl, which boosts your melee skill damage by 100%. Then we have the Mask of the Cannonball. This is Legendary Headgear. Tier 3 mod on this is called Purity, which reduces the duration of negative status effects by 75%. And last but not least, we have the Vest of the Cannonball. This is Legendary Upper Armor. Tier 3 mod on this is called Not Impressed, which reduces the damage taken from Elites by 20%. Next legendary set of armor is for the Trickster again. This is the Chrono Suit set. For the 3 piece armor bonus, Reverting Time replenishes ammo in your clip. First piece of gear we're going over is the Chrono Suit Foot Gear. This is legendary foot gear. Tier 3 mod on this is called Shield of the Fallen, which applies to your Twisted Rounds. When this skill ends, add 18% of your maximum health as shield for each enemy killed by this skill. Next, we have the Chrono Suit Gloves. This is a legendary gloves. Tier 3 mod on this is called Life Drain, which also applies to your Twisted Rounds. While the skill is active, killing shots heal you by 15% of your target's health. Next is the Chrono Suit Mask. This is legendary headgear. Tier 3 mod on this is called Aggressive Teleportation. And this applies to your borrowed time, which reverting time creates an explosion around you that inflicts X amount of damage to all enemies in range of 8 meters. Next piece of armor is called Lower Chrono Suit, which is legendary lower armor. Tier 3 mod on this is called Ammo Bargain. This applies to your twisted rounds, which while this skill is active, killing shots replenish 20% of ammo in your magazine. And then last but not least, we have the Upper Chrono Suit. This is Legendary Upper Armor. Tier 3 mod on this is called Death Shell, which this applies to your Borrowed Time. Killing enemies while Borrowed Time is active reduces incoming weapon damage by 10% and anomaly damage by 10% for 10 seconds. Buff is removed at the end of this skill, and this stacks up to 4 times. Next set is for the Devastator, and it is the Death Proof set. And the three piece armor bonus on this reduces the cooldown of Boulder Dash significantly. First piece of armor we will be going over is the Death Proof Chest Armor. This is Legendary Upper Armor. Tier 3 mod on this is called Increased Duration, which applies to your Reflect Bullets. This increases the skill's duration by 40%. Then we have Death Proof Foot Gear. This is Legendary Foot Gear. Tier 3 mod on this is called Life of the Party which incoming damage is reduced by 5% for each enemy in close range, and this stacks up to 8 times. Then we have Death Proof Gauntlets. These are legendary gloves. Tier 3 mod on this is called Kingslayer, which critical hits on an elite increases your firepower by X amount for 8 seconds. Then we have Death Proof Leg Armor. This is legendary lower armor. Tier 3 mod on this is called Not Impressed, which reduces the damage taken from elites by 20%. And then last but not least, we have the Death Proof Mask. This is Legendary Headgear. Tier 3 mod on this is called Primal Weakness, and this affects your Boulder Dash. This permanently reduces resistance of all damaged enemies by 50%. Next set is for the Trickster, and it is called the Edge of Time. Three-piece armor bonus for the Edge of Time increases damage for both Temporal Blade and Cyclone Slice. First piece of armor is called Armor of the Edge of Time. This is Legendary Upper Armor. Tier 3 mod on this is called Rebound, and this affects your Cyclone Slice. While this skill is active, reflect 50% of incoming bullets back to the enemy. Next, we have the Footwear of the Edge of Time. This is Legendary Footgear. Tier 3 mod on this is called Temporal Armor, and this affects your Temporal Blade, which boosts armor by 75% for each affected enemy, lasts 10 seconds, and stacks up to 8 times. 
Then we have gloves of the edge of time. These are legendary gloves. Tier 3 mod on this is called Life of the Party, which incoming damage is reduced by 5% for each enemy in close range. And this also stacks up to 8 times. Then we have the Goggles of the Edge of Time. This is Legendary Headgear. Tier 3 mod on this is called Double Slice. This affects your Temporal Blade, which damage enemies are additionally cut with an Anomic Slice dealing 50% damage. And last, we have Pants of the Edge of Time. This is Legendary Lower Armor. Tier 3 mod on this is called Ultimate Duration. This affects your Cyclone Slice, which adds 10 seconds to the skill's duration. Next set of armor is for the Technomancer and it is the Grim Inventor. Three piece armor bonus on this is while Tool of Destruction is active, a confirmed hit with Pain Launcher refills 20% ammunition for both minigun and RPG. This only happens once for each Tool of Destruction usage. First piece of armor we'll be looking at is called the Grim Inventor's Boots. This is Legendary Foot Gear. Tier 3 mod on this is called Bigger Sector and this affects your Pain Launcher, which Launch rockets cover 45% more area. Then we have the Grim Inventor's Coat. This is Legendary Upper Armor. Tier 3 mod on this is called Cannonade. This is for your Pain Launcher, which increases the number of rockets launched by 10. Then we have Grim Inventor's Gloves. These are Legendary Gloves. Tier 3 mod on this is called Not Impressed, which reduces the damage taken from Elites by 20%. Then we have the Grim Inventor's Lay Armor. This is Legendary Lower Armor. Tier 3 mod on this is called Special Delivery, which affects your Tool of Destruction. This increases the rocket's explosion radius by 25%. And the last piece is called the Grim Inventor's Mask. This is Legendary Headgear. Tier 3 mod on this is called Rocket Man. And this also affects the Tool of Destruction, which you can fire three additional rockets. Next armor set is for the Pyromancer, and this is the Lava Lake. 3 piece armor bonus for the Lava Lech gives you increased damage and decreased cooldown of eruption. First piece of gear we'll be looking at is called the Boots of the Lava Lech, which is legendary foot gear. Tier 3 mod on this is called Even Odds, which increases your maximum health by 5% for each enemy within a 10 meter radius around you, and this stacks up to 5 times. Then we have Charms of the Lava Lech. This is legendary gloves. Tier 3 mod on this is called Etna. This affects your eruption skill, which the skill can be activated one more time before triggering the cooldown. Then we got Helmet of the Lava Lake. This is legendary headgear. Tier 3 mod on this is called Ashen Champion, and this affects your phaser beam, which inflicts ash on enemies instead of burn. Each enemy hit boosts your anomaly power by 15% for 10 seconds, and this stacks up to 5 times. Then we have the Lower Robe of the Lava Lake. This is Legendary Lower Armor. Tier 3 mod on this is called Improved Damage, and this also affects your Eruption, which increases Explosion Damage by X amount. And last but not least, we have the Upper Robe of the Lava Lake. This is Legendary Upper Armor. Tier 3 mod on this is called Not Impressed, which reduces the damage taken from Elites by 20%. Next set of armor is for the Devastator, and it is the Marshall's set. 3 piece armor bonus for the Marshall set allows Endless Mass to pull enemies and make them share damage. First piece of armor we're going over is the Marshall's Armor. This is Legendary Upper Armor. Tier 3 mod on this is called High Intensity and this affects your Endless Mass ability, which anomaly damage against affected targets is increased by 33% for 5 seconds. Then we have Marshall's Foot Gear. This is Legendary Foot Gear. Tier 3 mod on this is called Despair and this affects your Gravity Leap, which enemies within the damage radius of Gravity Leap will receive 1.5 times more anomaly damage for 5 seconds. Then we have Marshall's Gauntlets. These are legendary gloves. Tier 3 mod on this is called Double Jump, and this affects your Gravity Leap, which this skill can be used twice before triggering the cooldown. Then we have the Marshall's Helmet. This is legendary headgear. Tier 3 mod on this is called Wide Horizons, and this also affects your Endless Mass, which increases this skill's radius by 25%. And last but not least, we have the Marshall's Waste Cloth. This is Legendary Lower Armor. Now, I'm kind of confused why this actually comes with a Tier 2 mod instead of a Tier 3 mod. However, the Tier 2 mod on this is called Adrenaline, which whenever your health drops below 30%, 
all your skill cooldowns are reduced by 50%. I don't know, that may be a typo on this piece of armor. And it's a possibility that Adrenaline can be a tier three mod or a different mod goes in that slot. But I'm only going off what we have available to us. The next armor set is for the Technomancer and it is called the Plague Sower. The three piece armor bonus for the Plague Sower is upon applying toxic status, gain 5% damage reduction for five seconds. And this stacks up to five times. First piece of armor we'll be going over is the Plague Sower's boots. This is legendary foot gear. Tier three mod on this is enriched anthrax. Hmm, that's interesting. This affects your blighted turret, which increases the turret's damage by X amount. Then we have the Plague Sower's coat. This is legendary upper armor. Tier three mod on this is called to the bone. And this affects your blighted rounds, which when this skill is active, increase anomaly power by 30% for 15 seconds. Then we have the Plague Sower's hands. These are legendary gloves. Tier three mod on this is called power assimilation, which boosts your anomaly power by X amount for each elite present on the battlefield. Next, we have the Plague Sower's skull. This is legendary headgear. Tier three mod on this is called splash boost. This also applies to your blighted rounds, which increases the splash effect radius of successful shots by 50%. And for the last piece of armor, we have the Plague Sower's trousers. These are legendary lower armor. Tier three mod on this is called Med Burst, and this applies to your blighted turret, which the turret replenishes 35% of its maximum health to each ally within a six meter radius around itself when destroyed. The next gear is for the Pyromancer, and it is the Reforged gear. Now, this is one of the gears that I have that I do not have all the pieces to it. I'm actually missing one of the armor pieces. So when it comes to the Reforge gear, we are actually missing the legendary gloves for this set. So if I end up finding more of the legendaries not in this video, I will go ahead and make a part two and add them. The three piece armor bonus for Reforge increases Feed the Flames damage and Thermal Bomb damage by 50%. First piece of armor we'll be going over is called the Armor of the Reforged. This is legendary upper armor. Tier three mod on this is called Branded, and this affects your thermal bomb, which enemies affected by the skill receive 40% more damage. Then we have Boots of the Reforged. This is legendary foot gear. Tier three mod on this is called Power Assimilation, which boosts your anomaly power by X amount for each elite present on the battlefield. Then we have Cowl of the Reforged. This is legendary head gear. Tier three mod on this is called Double Fun. This affects your thermal bomb, which the skill can affect two targets. And last but not least, we have Waste Cloth of the Reforged. This is legendary lower armor. Tier three mod on this is called Flame Grasper, which affects your Feed the Flames. This enables absorption of two additional targets. And the same goes for the next set, which is for the Devastator that is called Seismic Commanders. Now the tier three armor bonus for the Seismic Commander increases damage towards enemies with bleed by 150%. Now, just like the last set of armor, we are actually missing, we are actually missing several parts to this armor as well. And I could not find them in time for this video. First one we'll go over is called Seismic Commander's Armor. This is legendary upper armor. Tier three mod on this is called Palisade. And this affects your impale, which the skill can strike two additional targets. And then the second, piece of armor we have is called the Seismic Commander's Helmet. This is legendary headgear. Tier three mod on this is called Ultimate Impaler. And this also affects Impale, where the skill can be activated two more times before triggering the cooldown. Next set of armor is for the Devastator again. And this is the statue's armor set. Three piece armor bonus for statue is using either Tremor or Golem doubles your firepower and doubles weapon skill leech for you and your teammates. First piece of armor we're going over is Statue's Feet. This is legendary foot gear. Tier three mod on this is called Made of Marble and this affects Golem, which when the skill is active, incoming bullets have 20% chance to ricochet back at the enemy dealing X amount of damage. Then we have Statue's Hand. These are legendary gloves. Tier three mod on this is called Non-Impressed, which reduces the damage taken from elites by 20%. 
Then we have Statue's Head. This is Legendary Headgear. Tier 3 mod on this is called Grand Blast. And this affects your Tremor, which increases the radius of each explosion by 20%. Then we have Statue's Legs. This is Legendary Lower Armor. Tier 3 mod on this is called Golem Squad, which affects Golem. This increases the skill's duration by 20% and casts a 25% shorter version of Golem on your allies. And the final piece of gear for this set is called Statue's Torso. This is Legendary Upper Armor. Tier 3 mod on this is called Power of the Stones, and this also affects your Tremor. When this skill is active, allies are given a 40% weapon damage bonus for 8 seconds. The next armor set is for the Technomancer, and it is called Torrential Downpour. And the 3-piece armor bonus for Torrential Downpour allows Scrapnel to create additional cluster bombs after explosion. First piece of armor we'll go over is called Torrential Downpour's Armor. This is Legendary Upper Armor. Tier 3 mod on this is called Trap Cluster. And this actually pertains to your Scrapnel, which doubles the number of mines that can be thrown before triggering the cooldown. Then we have Torrential Downpour's Foot Gear. This is Legendary Foot Gear. Tier 3 mod on this is called Quartermaster. And this affects your Fixing Wave, which activating the skill replenishes one weapon magazine for each ally, cooldown of 45 seconds. Then we have Torrential Downpour's Gloves. This is Legendary Gloves. Tier 3 mod on this is called Anomaly Echo, which grants X amount firepower and X amount anomaly power bonus on skill activation for 15 seconds. Then we have Torrential Downpour's Goggles. This is Legendary Headgear. Tier 3 mod on this is called Breath In, and this also applies to your Fixing Wave which reduces the skill's cooldown by 20%. And then last but not least, we have Torrential Downpour's Leg Armor. This is Legendary Lower Armor. Tier 3 mod on this is called Head of the Ward, which reviving an ally also fully restores their health. Next set of armor we're going over is for the Pyromancer, and it is the Torturer's Set. Three-piece armor bonus for the Torturer's Set triples the size of Volcanic Round's damaging aura that surrounds each bullet. First piece of armor is the Torturous Foot Gear, which is Legendary Foot Gear. Tier 3 mod on this is Anomaly Echo, which grants X amount firepower and X amount anomaly power bonus on skill activation for 15 seconds. Then we have Torturous Gloves. This is Legendary Gloves. Tier 3 mod on this is called Introvert, which increases the range at which enemies are considered to be in close range by 2 meters. Then we have the Torturer's Mask. This is Legendary Headgear. Tier 3 mod on this is called Death Sentence, which applies to your Ash Blast, where your weapon damage and anomaly damage against enemies affected by this skill are increased respectively by 20% and 20% for 5 seconds. Then we have Torturer's Vest. This is Legendary Upper Armor. Tier 3 mod on this is Susceptibility, and this applies to your Volcanic Rounds, which decreases the resistance of enemies damaged by the skill by 25%. Then we have Torturer's Waste Cloth. This is Legendary Lower Armor. Tier 3 mod on this is called Ashes and Leeches, and this also applies to your Ash Blast, which using the skill increases your Weapon Leech bonus by 40% for 6 seconds. The next set of armor is for the Trickster, and it is the Trespasser set. Three piece armor bonus for the Trespasser allows the user not to die inside the slow trap. First piece of armor is called Trespasser's Armor. This is Legendary Upper Armor. Tier 3 mod on this is called Damage Mitigation. This affects your slow trap, which allies within the sphere receive 20% less damage. Then we have Trespasser's Boots. This is Legendary Foot Gear. Tier 3 mod on this is called Stare Into the Barrel, which boosts your firepower by X amount for each enemy in close range. This stacks up to 5 times. Then we have the Trespasser's Britches. This is Legendary Lower Armor. Tier 3 mod on this is called And Another One. This affects your Time Rip, which shots on enemies affected by the skill do not consume ammo. Then we have Trespasser's Cowl. This is Legendary Headgear. Tier 3 mod on this is called Delivery on Time. This affects your Slow Trap ability, which activating this skill replenishes ammo for every ally's current weapon in the sphere's range. And then last but not least, we have the Trespasser's Talons. These are Legendary Gloves. Tier 3 mod on this is called Pain Transfer. And this affects your Time Rift, where 10% of weapon damage and 30% of anomaly damage dealt to one affected enemy will be transferred to another affected enemy. 
And the last armor set is for the Trickster, and it is the Yugaki set. Or at least I hope I pronounced that right. The three-piece armor bonus for the Yugaki Otara allows Hunt the Prey to not consume cooldown when teleporting behind an enemy marked with Venator's knife. First piece of armor we're going to look at is called Yugaki Otara's Arm Wraps. This is Legendary Gloves. Tier 3 mod on this is called Ready for Anything, which 10% of critical damage dealt to elites is returned to you as health. Then we have the Yugaki Otara's Boots. This is Legendary Foot Gear. Tier 3 mod on this is called Not Impressed, which reduces the damage taken from elites by 20%. Then we got the Yugaki Otara's Cowl. This is Legendary Head Gear. Tier 3 mod on this is called Instant Reload, and this affects the Hunt the Prey skill, which teleporting instantly replenishes magazine in your current weapon. Then we have Yugaki Otara's Talisman. This is Legendary Upper Armor. Tier 3 mod on this is called Sniper Blades, and this affects your Venetator's Knife, which increases the skill's range by 50%. And last but not least, we have the Yugaki Otara's Waist Cloth. This is Legendary Lower Armor. Tier 3 mod on this is called Boomerang Blades, and this also affects your Venator's Knife, which after the initial ricochet, the knife will repeat its path and damage enemies a second time. So that is all of the legendary armor sets that we currently know of. Now, I do have one more legendary that is not part of a set, and it is called the Anomaly's Visage. This is for the Trickster. And you can tell because characters wearing Trickster gear. Tier 3 mod on this is called Arms and Anomaly, which critical shots increase your anomaly power by X amount for 10 seconds. But this actually also shows it coming with a second Tier 3 mod, which is called Anomaly Echo, which grants X amount firepower and X amount anomaly power bonus on skill activation for 15 seconds. Now this may be so far the only legendary piece of gear that comes with two tier three mods. Or there's a possibility that this piece of legendary armor is already equipped with the mods that the person wanted. But we're just gonna have to wait and see when the full game comes out to see if this is actually true. And that my friends is all of the legendary armor we currently have picks of for Outriders. Let me know in the comment section if you have any picks of other legendary armor sets like the ones in this video that are not mentioned and I will make a part two to this video if there is time before the full game is actually released. Also, which legendary armor set is your favorite so far and which one will you be hunting for when the full game is released? So, you made it this far in the video and you wanna know the details of the Outriders giveaway. Well, it's very simple. All you have to do is follow me on Twitter and put your platform of choice in the hashtag giveaway section of the Everything Outriders Discord. That is all. You don't even have to subscribe to my channel in order to participate in this giveaway. But if you did subscribe, the support is greatly appreciated. The giveaway will go until Wednesday, March 31st, 2021 at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. A link to my Twitter and the Discord are in the description box below. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Hey, hey you, watch these videos too. I know you like them. Go, 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 go.